Roscoe Wilson is one of nearly 400 people who die annually in Miami from gunshot wounds. The latest of more than 35,000 Americans this year who will be killed by a gun. A dramatic injury like that's an eye opener. It's bad enough to look at the news and hear nothing but gunshot for gunshot for gunshot because of burglary or whatever, but to actually see what happens in here. I think most people would even be even more up in arms about it. So why doesn't the state of Florida pass stricter gun laws? The answer seems to lie in its residents. Part of the reason Florida's gun laws remain some of the most permissive in the country is the attachment of residents to their guns. No one knows exactly how many gun owners there are in South Florida, since the state is restricted by law from keeping any sort of registry. But applications for permits to carry concealed weapons suggest that gun ownership has skyrocketed. In 1987, there were about 600 concealed carry permit holders in Dade County. In 1997, there were over 35,000. And gun owners aren't always who you might think. This is Dr. David Schatz, the trauma surgeon from Jackson Memorial Hospital. He sees no conflict between digging bullets out of his patients and firing bullets at the range. There are obviously those people who, are, who do shoot with malice, and then that's also the person, it's not the gun. 